Okay guys, so we have been off the grid for a couple of months here on this channel at least. We've been posting on the other channels. Here is my lovely bride here. <laughs> we have had so much going on around here. It is, what is the date today? The 6th. February 6th. And we are just now taking down our Christmas tree. <laughs> Marion actually took off all the decorations and everything about a month ago, but we left the tree up just because we like how it looks in here. Every morning when we get up, we turn on the fireplace over here so we have that light and we turn on the tree just because it looks so nice. And so it's been an, a difficult decision to take it down. But as you can see, I have the box out today and I'm finally gonna be taking it down. We've had so much going on around here that I have not updated on this channel. We got some new pillows here. <laughs> I don't think I've shown you this back bedroom yet. I got the floor done and let's see, while well, my son painted it while we were out on the road filming for Halloween, I got the floor put in and I did not film doing any of this. Um, I got the door hung over here on the closet as you can see, I have like some lights and photo equipment. I've been making videos in here. I got a couple of other inflatables here. I'm gonna be making more videos today. We have a new mattress. This is the exact same kind that we have in the RV. Um, and some new pillows and some other things for this room because we have new furniture coming and I believe it's coming in about a week here. So we were out shopping for that a couple of times, finally ordered it from I think Value City. I got this little hot rod here <laughs> that I ordered off of Amazon because I've been having like a flare up in my heel. You guys know that I have gout in my foot and I don't know if it's gout or if it's like uh, bursitis or something, but this thing is a lifesaver when that kicks in because you just kneel on there and go scooting across the floor. You can get to wherever you need to get and it doesn't put any pressure on your foot. The only thing new I can think of in the bathroom is that we had to get a hold of this company, Moen I think it is, and have them send us a new head because the collar cracked on it. So they sent us a new one free. In our bedroom, we have twice now had to have the guy come and replace the motors for the massager because they keep going out for some reason. The guy said he thinks it's just a faulty batch of motors or something because it seems to be working fine now. And we've had some kind of little problem with almost everything in here, a little bit at least. Like this is splitting right here. So I had to get a hold of the company and they actually have to come take the entire couch and replace this whole end with the new fabric. I'll bet you anything they actually have to recover the whole thing just so that the color completely matches. Marion's been doing some rearranging on these shelves here. We got these fabric boxes from my cousin. So she put those all in there. I think that looks pretty nice. And then in here, we've just, we haven't really changed a whole lot, just straightened up a little bit. Put some more of those boxes over there, a little filing cabinet and stuff. We also put this fireplace in here that we took out of the RV. The biggest change though is in the basement. And if you guys have been watching the other channels, you've already seen this, but let me take you down there right now. Wait, we did put up a couple of signs here. The kitchen up there. We put the coffee bar sign up over here. We got the rest of the red chairs set up around a table here and another sign. Everything's just kind of disheveled right now because we have so much that we're working on. These things I need to take downstairs. A Couple of new things out in the garage here too. I got a couple of new saws to work on what I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I even showed you that I put this up. This used to be in my son's bedroom when he lived at my house. Little monitor here so I can watch TV while I'm out here working. I bought a snow blower, and we haven't had enough snow yet to use it. I also bought a big table saw over here for anything I might need it for. But down in the basement, like I said, is the biggest change of anything here. This is still dirty, I still need to do this. But this room here in my office is what I've been working on a lot. If you guys have been watching the other channel, you've already seen this, but uh, yeah, whenever we first moved in, this room had grungy, rubber, 
gray floors that were all dirty. There were spider webs everywhere. These walls were like a dark blue and disgusting. All this brick was white over here. And now it is an awesome home theater. This has been a ton of work down here. Um, like I said, I have another video during the whole process that I made. I just have not edited it yet. But I wanted this to look like a video rental store and I wanted it to also be a home theater. So we have our home theater seating here. This all reclines. 85 inch TV up here. We got some VHS displayed over here. DVDs and Blu-rays. We got the Coke fridge down here with a bunch of drinks in it. Giant peanut over here from Family Video, completely full with candy and snacks. Let me close this door here a second. So I can show you the little cove back here, which is the kids section. We have all the kids movies and Disney movies. And this door right here, I made to look like the door from Monsters, Inc. And it gets dark back in this cove, so I put up this tap light, which is actually dying. <laughs> but that brightens it up enough back here, where if you're looking at the movies back here, you can see them a lot better. So let's go on in my office here. And this, like everything else, is still a mess right now, but I'm getting it set up. Got a couple of animatronics set up over here from Spirit. We got the big TV over here between the bubbles of death that I also got from Spirit. My desk over here where I do all my editing and my working. Some lights and tripods over here for when I sit at the desk and do my fan mail Fridays. Dry erase board here to take notes on things I want to do, some plans I want to make. Got a couple of arrows up and down here like a vision board for things that I want to increase and decrease during this year. This ugly cardboard back here, I've basically been taking cardboard and wrapping it with black uh, duct tape so that I can make a black background around that whole thing because I think that'll look much better. Plus the bubbles will show up better with a black background. And if we come through here to the other part of the basement here, I don't remember if I showed you guys this or not, but I set up a whole bunch of these um, new shelves in here. I tore out all the other shelves, set all these up, and we've been going to grocery stores and Sam's Club and just stocking up on food and things like paper towels, toilet paper, toiletries, razors, soap, things like that. Of course, all this needs to be put away and organized. I got all my tools and everything here because I've been working in this area here while I build the theater. I think that's pretty much everything we've done. I did get a water dehumidifier over here and my brother and I put in a brand new, um, bigger water heater here. So as you can see, we have definitely been busy in this house just trying to get everything exactly how we want it. Oh wait, there's one more thing I gotta tell you. We bought a hot tub. Let me take you out on the back porch here for a minute. So you guys know we built this ginormous deck a couple months ago. This is like 12 by 32 or something. This end here is where the hot tub's gonna go. We have 12 feet this way. And then of course, as much feet as we need this way. <laughs> the hot tub is an eight foot square. The thing is enormous. So it's gonna sit right in the middle over here. We have support beams under this to make sure that it can handle all the weight. I'll insert a couple pictures here of the hot tub that we chose. And um, today at 1.30, we have an electrician coming so he can give us an estimate on wiring the electric for the hot tub. I actually really wanted to get that in a couple of months ago, but you know, with how busy I've been, especially at Halloween time, that just was not gonna happen. So we finally went out on Sunday, we chose the hot tub, we bought it, and yeah, it should be here within about two weeks. Oh, I cannot wait. So that is pretty much it, guys, if I can get back in the door here. Like I said, just a whole lot of stuff going on in here. And the little lady is sitting, what are you doing? Editing a video? Mm -hmm. Editing a video for her channel right Mask now. Mask Monday. Mask Monday. <laughs> so I'm sorry that we've been gone off the channel for a while here. Um, we tried to do the shorts when we went out on our trip and we got so many crazy negative comments on all those shorts that I was just like, forget it. I don't even want to deal with it. I just want to focus on what we're out here to do. So we pulled all those shorts and, um, We'll probably start doing them again, but just in a different context and just ignore those comments. So, all right, guys. <sighs> I have the one video to put together yet of the basement being built 
and um, I will get that up soon. Otherwise, we just wanted to give you a quick update here and say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we will see you again in the next video. If you guys have not been watching Saturday Night Snack and a Movie, come over to that Nate guy on YouTube channel, and you guys can enjoy movie nights with us. We make awesome snacks, watch awesome movies, and have a lot of fun.